in this video i will show how to open a port in tencent cloud i am logged into the tencent cloud console let's go to the cloud virtual machine click on the menu products under the menu compute you can see cloud virtual machine click on cloud virtual machine we have one virtual machine let me log into the server with ssh take terminal ssh ubuntu at the rate ip address copy the ip address and paste it enter the password let's become the user root with the command sudo su to check if a port is open we have to run some service let's use the python command to run a simple http server on port 8080 the command is python3 minus m http dot server then you need to specify the port we will use port 8080 now let's open the port on a browser take a new browser tab paste the ip address colon port number 8080 we are not able to see anything this is because the port is closed let us go back to the tencent cloud console click on the more link on the right side of the virtual machine from the drop down select security group then configure security group it will list the security group click on the security group id it will take you to the security group page here you can see all the rules port 22 is allowed port 3389 it is used for rdp and 443 it is used for https and port 80 only these ports are currently open to open a new port click on add rule button from the drop down select a custom for the source enter 0.0.0.0/0 this means everyone on the internet for the protocol plus port you need to specify the protocol like tcp after that a colon then the port we will be opening tcp 8080 this will be the port we will be opening for the policy select allow for remark you can enter anything this is to identify what is the purpose for this port let's enter my test application if you need to add another rule click on the plus new line in this case i only want to open one port so i click on the x icon to remove the second line click on the complete button to add this rule let's refresh this page and see if the port is added we have tcp port 8080 allowed now let's go to the other browser tab and see if we can access port 8080 now the port 8080 is open and we are able to access the simple python web server thank you for watching hope you find the video useful if you like the video please subscribe for more videos like this